Welcome back. I'm James McIntyre, the VRF Training Manager at Nortech, again. Although you don't have to go back and watch the other mini VRF videos before watching this one, you may miss out on a little. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a mini VRF outdoor unit. It is a quick video focusing on the physical installation of the outdoor unit. For wiring and piping information, see the mini VRF piping and wiring video. Now let's begin. To be clear, we're talking about the standard mini VRF and the ultra heating mini VRF. The three and four ton mini VRFs have the same dimensions while the five ton is a bit larger in some aspects. You can use a traditional pad for installation, but other companies make some great products to ele elevate your unit above a snow or water line or to prevent vibration on rooftops, for instance. Whatever product you select, be sure it will support the weight of the unit. As I just said, make sure the units are installed above a snow line, and for you non-wintery folks, make sure it is installed above a water line. This will help prevent damage. You only need eight inches of clearance on the sides, 13 and three quarter on the back, and a bit over six feet in front. Again, these are minimums. Give yourself enough room to service. You may not be able to reach around and wash the coil if you only have a few inches. Last but not least, you also need 8 inches on the top. There are two ways to route the piping and wiring, so keep that in mind when selecting a good place to install your equipment. In the piping and wiring video, we go much more in depth into, as you guessed it, the piping and wiring of Mini VRF systems. Continue watching by selecting Mini VRF piping and wiring video at edgetechhvac.com. 